Here are the fluffies. The Merrick. Completion is a special edition. It's an edition of with First. many firsts and milestones. Yeah, it's a milestone day today. The first one is uh, it's June 20, no, today is June 15. It's the first time this year that we come to downtown Toronto or not around, outside of our area. Yeah. So we actually got on the subway. For the second time this year, yes. but for the first time in this the line two. And also on line one. Oh no, we went when you're yes. eye, eye doctor. The last time I took the subway was in January to my eye doctor. Let's see how long it took. And also another first we saw ironically we passed in front of the former condo. Yes. It's been the first time in six years that we passed in front of it. Yeah. And uh and then in the subway we bumped to a friend. Actually two friends. Two friends. So it's kind of oh, wow, it's been so long. Ironically, one of them was the last friend we saw back in October. Yes, last year. So it's very interesting. Then, and more importantly, the reason why we're downtown. Yes, so first we came here to this, is it called Dunforth Avenue here in Toronto, in the east side of Toronto? Yeah, so it's not in the Greek neighborhood, no. that's still down a little there. bit down there. And uh, we came to this restaurant called Budapest Restaurant. Where is the, uh, it's behind it's here. There. Uh, and because we can't go inside, because... It used to be somewhere else, another location. Yeah, so it's the first time here. But more importantly, because restaurants aren't open inside, luckily they have a beautiful patio. Yeah, here in Ontario, they allowed the restaurants to open patios starting last Friday. Yes. So it'll be the first time this year we eat outside that apartment. Oh my God. Literally outside because you're basically on the on the street. Basically. We're basically on the street. See the on the street. Now the reason why we came to this specific restaurant is yesterday I received an email, a very important email. For those of you who don't know, hold on a second. Now close up with you. Yes. So for those of you who don't know, my my parents are both from Hungary, or sure. were both from Hungary, and I was born here in Canada, in Montreal. And so recently, I, this past August, so August 2021, uh, no, <laughs> 2020, August 2020, I gave in all my paperwork to get registered. A birth certificate registered in Hungary which entitles me to citizenship so I don't have to do a actual swearing-in ceremony because of this so today or yesterday I got the email saying that I could come anytime and pick it up so here is my birth certificate Hungarian birth certificate in Hungarian and it officially makes me a Hungarian citizen. As well, I have a Hungarian identity card. So if we, when we go to Hungary, I can stay as long as I wanted. Not Obvious, just in Hungary, entire EU. Yeah, in, in the entire EU, which is terrific. So we're here with a new Hungarian. <laughs> Merchant Hungarian now. Yes. Besides, in Hungary, it's not accepted. Eh? Yes, that's the only bad thing. When I went to give in the papers, because they don't accept same-sex marriage in Hungary, I applied as a single person. That's so the first time in 18 years I've been single. Single, okay. <laughs> and now, so we came here to the Budapest restaurant. If you follow the fluffies, back in March, on your father's uh, yeah. birthday, we celebrate his birthday, uh, ordering food from here because yes. we realized, found out now they deliver Yay. because we live far from here, 12 kilometers. Right? Yes. So we ordered because we couldn't come, but now we came since we're going to get citizenship, so 
let's celebrate. Yeah. And you're gonna show you what you are there. So first we started with the typical cher cold cherry soup. And it's excellent on a day like today. It's really warm outside. So it's a very special... What's the name in Hungarian? Testing. Uh, <laughs> Medjlevesh. Okay, good, it's safe. Yes, and when I picked up my stuff in the consulate, everything I did was in Hungarian. So, so I, this is the Medjlevesh. Another important part of Hungarian dinner is uborka salata, which is basically a cucumber salad. And he loves that. And another thing that is very, very popular in Hungary is it's called malnasar. So it's a raspberry soda and it's mixed with soda water. You didn't toast. Very good. See, I know some guy. So, Egeshegedre is like good luck, good health. And then, of course, Wiener Schnitzel. So, Wiener Schnitzel is Germany and Austria and everyone. So, the typical Wiener Schnitzel comes with a, and this is one of the, it gives it a lot of great flavor. My hand's showing, oh my god. So, we're gonna eat here outside. Yes. Before we fly away, wow, so much, so, so windy. Much windy. I know, so but, much wind. But the meal was very nice. Very, very good. I forgot to mention some paprika. Yes, that's not a Hungarian meal if there's no paprika somewhere in there. Yes, now we're gonna have the dessert. So fluffy. So this is called palacinta, or it's, a long one. it's also known as crepe. And crepe. yeah, crepe or crepe for <laughs> French people. It's a long one. Yes, it's a, one of the longest ones I've ever seen. Usually they have sugar on the top. Yeah, I don't like the sugar on top, so I ask for it without sugar. And I asked for the apricot jam because that's the one that I always grew up with. And Christian had something called uh, Dios. What is it in here? Something, a chestnut, it's puree. chestnut puree. So we're gonna eat before we fly away. Yes. And uh, so it's a special day for us. For yes. Especially. Very. And I'd like to dedicate this to my parents, who are no longer with us. And with us, they are in our hearts and minds. Yes, always. And also, I'd like to thank. Uh, <laughs> I'd also like to thank two important people: uh, my Hungarian teacher, Ilona. Also, I'd like to thank our friend in Debrecen, um, Gabor. Well, here we call him as the Rendezo. Yeah, he's known as the Rendezo because he's been the director of some of our videos. Seen some of our videos on our channel. He was... You could hear his laugh. Yes. A zombie laugh. And also, I'd like to thank my cousin Aggie and also cousin Juju. Yes. yes. And me, because it was my idea. Yes. <laughs> I told you to get to citizenship. Uh, so, thank me. Thank you. Uh, finally. Uh, Hi. And we are back at from home. Yes, what a day. Yes, a busy day. So this is uh, an addendum for the video you just saw. Yes, a very important issue has just happened that we want to address. So, at the same time, we're very happy for Eric's citizenship, Hungarian citizenship today. The yeah. sad part is today uh, the Hungarian parliament uh, uh, approved this law that's totally homophobic or against very the LGBTQ plus communities. So, if you want to know about it, so we put the link in the description. It's so hard to explain here. Yeah, there's so much. But we're here to protest, complain that really so sad to hear that uh especially the pride month yeah uh, things there are still very going backwards so i want to send our love to our friends lgbtq friends in hungary we have so many friends there yes we love you all we're here with you 
And I hope someday the light, whoever votes for these people, they change and learn that why be so afraid of us or so it's many. So stupid. So stupid. So read the thing, the Herb yes. Easier. But we had to mention that. You could just post a video like everything's happening. No, it's not. But still love Hungary. Still yes, love. We love visiting. Visiting and everything. Family. You have amazing people there. Just this things that like oh boy so stay fluffy stay fluffy